Hey there, Angel of Galaxy, back with some more channeled messages. I do hope that you're all doing well. I'd just like to thank you all, as always, for clicking on my new channel. I've, any support is so much appreciated. How can you um, support my channel? Subscribe, it's free, guys. Commenting is good. Sharing. Liking's great. <clears throat> and then it just lifts the algorithms. Don't forget to hit the notification button, then you'll know when I've got new content out. I am doing a Mother's Day one on... Just check my camera there, sorry. A Mother's Day one on Sunday. So um, please check in with that if you want to. Anyway, shall we get going? Yes. Right. Let's get into it. For well, my signs today started with... Now, for all of you who don't know, I see signs and synchronicities in my environment and then spirit will lead me. It's almost like me being a little bit of a detective and they will leave me little clues. Yeah. Um, and then there's a message within all these for somebody. So I just like to do this because I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting than just keep talking um, and spitting out things. All right? Right. I am here to entertain. <laughs> Remember the sp spirit, um, sorry, remember that uh, souls piggyback on one particular message as well. That's very important. So if the message means something to you, uh, it could be a name, a date. It may not be a name or a date. It just may be the message or it could be all. Just, yeah, you will know because you will feel it. All right, where are we going? So anyway, so yeah, these signs I was telling you about started with a huge baked potato on the pavement, probably taken by the foxes um, and maybe being disturbed. Mm. And I'm hearing right hot potato. So whoever I'm talking to, you might be dealing with a controversial issue or situation, which is awkward to deal with and you're not really sure what to do about it. Mm. For all this is a sensitive situation and involves others, so you may be finding it difficult to handle just like a hot potato that's too hot to hold. So this problem may get, you know, passed from one person to the next because nobody wants to deal with it. So it could be just a situation that's a bit awkward and, you know, so if you imagine a room full of people awkwardly tossing a steaming spud around, no one wants to be stuck with it. Next to the potato, there were large, thick potato peelings strewn all over the floor. So this issue at hand has many layers, and I'm hearing the person in question who is thick-skinned and stubborn. My next sign was a board. A board game left on a wall just outside her house. She does this regular when she wants to get rid of things. Um, and it was a trivial pursuit, 1980s, so that date could be relevant. Um, hmm. So, yeah, it could be relevant. Um, and there could be an issue that you were facing um, because trivial pursuit. Okay, so this, hmm. So I'm thinking this game. You're throwing a dice to determine how far you can move and then you may ask a question. This could be someone high up in a company and you are nervous to ask questions or put something forward to them maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This must be asked without outside assistance going by the game so he or she may not like to be bombarded with too many people and questions. Also, in the game, the colour determines what you can ask. So you may be worried about overstepping the mark or appearing arrogant or a know-it-all. Mm. Well, they may be a bit arrogant or a know-it-all, who knows? So if you do not get the answer in the game, and this one would be yes for you, it would be a big deal to you. You may have to let this lie until you can work out who to pass the control to. The next person may, may need to try and convince him, her or the boss 
what you are worth, that you are a worthy competitor. Sorry, I'm getting some banging next door and it's getting put off a bit. But I should, should learn to zone out. Or what you are proposing and that you have all the skill and intellect to win this. Mm. So when we're thinking of the game again, landing on a category, headquarters space. So it could be an office, yeah. And answering correctly, awards a wedge in that colour. So in order to present what you want to have, to shine and say all the right things, then you may move in any available direction and change directions at any category, headquarters, space, or the hub, of course this is the game, but may not backtrack. So it may actually feel like a once in a lifetime opportunity for you. After collecting, augmenting all ideas, proof of experience, extra skills that can fill this job or role in the company, I still feel you, hmm, you may be worrying that you don't have an exact count of what this role will entail and may not answer the questions in his or her chosen category again the game you're hoping to be so much better than any of the other opponents in order to win the game and land this job so it is a job you're not happy to return at another time or wait for another chance of promotion Mm, it's not going to be take a chance at rolling the dice once more so I'm hearing hmm, you've been faced with this and it's so stressful and you secretly wish that you could avoid it all and not have to deal with it directly oh. instead just like the hot potato pass it along to others dropping it like a hot potato only there is too much at stake for you, I'm being told. Also, just as the game continues, sorry, contains wedges that occupy a space, you would be paid for doing so. A wedge is a pay packet, large amount of money, or the amount someone earns. And this role, job, will do just that for you. So there's a lot at stake here, I get it. I have... The name Percival is <laughs> coming in and letting you know how proud he is of you. He's telling me he used to be your boss many years ago. Oh, trigger warning passed due to heart failure. So I'm asking why he chose the Trivial Pursuit game. I shouldn't even ask that because I'd get all sorts of signs, but... Mm. Oh, he's, okay, so he's telling me that Mm, the 1980s and the game will be relevant so that's for you to know and me to just send the message <laughs> he's a nice guy i like his energy it's calm and kind he would have loved the outdoors when he wasn't working hard golf he liked and he also liked to watch a bit of cricket got a deep voice and a kind nature but when it came to work, it would be quite tough with rules and regulations. <laughs> He's saying, don't sway it. You are one talented individual. And quite frankly, you deserve to go far. Oh, that's nice. I'm hearing Bellamy, Kenneth, Carly, Shelby, Tanya and Lucinda. But again, take the names as they resonate if they don't it doesn't matter if your name's not there but the message goes mm. so when we think of the game again to end this a variant rule ends another player's turn on collecting a wedge preventing a single knowledgeable player from running the board okay thank you <laughs> All right, my next message, I'm seeing a blue jacket and tall blue boots. So this may mean something to someone. Hmm, feeling really dizzy now. I don't know why, but my judgment, it's like showing me that my judgment feels off. 
January could be important with this message. Uh, she's telling me to say hold. Holding feelings in is like putting a steadily increasing amount of air into a balloon. Remember there is no limit to how much air the balloon will hold. Ooh, so it's just a short message for somebody before it explodes, hey? So we've got Ruth, Rose, Yasmin, Georgia and Faye with that message. And I'm hearing Colin as well. Mm. So this lady would have probably worn a blue jacket, tall blue boots, or maybe you do, I don't know. Anyway, so as you know I get songs um, playing in my head and it was no different this morning. We had Mm. Mm. So what are you sending through this song? What's your loved one sending? Something in the way you move. Alright. Soul's telling me that there was just something in the way you move. It attracted him like no other lover. You were so graceful, sophisticated, and had every head turning as you walked by. So proud you were. Something in the way he wooed you. So he would have said all the correct things. Great eye contact, great chat. Good sense of humour. Smelled fresh. Mm. Dressed well. And I'm hearing there were absolutely no awkward silences ever. As the song states, I don't want to leave her now. And how every fibre of his being told him that you were the one. Alright. So he didn't want to leave the one that he loved. Okay. There was somewhere in her smile. He knew that she also was aware. That would not need no other lover. Yet it was written all over his face. That he was going nowhere. I'm hearing cat that got the cream. <laughs> the line something in her style that shows me. It wasn't just about her physical beauty. It was about the elusive quality that drew him in. She touched his heart. Mm. So when you seek meaning in her style, remember this. It's not always about what we see, but what we feel. The intangible, the ineffable. These heartfelt, heartfelt lines capture the essence of love. The inexplicable, explicable, sorry, and indescribable. Okay, so he wants you to know that um, she's not. You're not imagining the communication. And I feel that you're continually trying to shrug off um, what he's sending through. Um, so please try and watch out for things. You know, listen. We have the magic of connection, the unspoken language between souls. The line's something in the way she knows, and all I have to do is think of her. So maybe more aware. Mm. As your loved one is sending a plethora of signs. Okay. There is definitely something in the way. He shows you. He wants you to remember that he did not want to leave you. That seems coming up in this song, doesn't it? But sadly, it was his time to do so. I'm hearing Carmel, November and April. Trent may be a name, or may mean something. Uh, there is something about overcoming mental challenges. Mm. And gaining more confident in your, confidence in your abilities would be good. He would have been a passionate man. Maybe a little secretive at times, but knew how to keep his expectations realistic. And, of course, <laughs> to end this, he doesn't want to leave you now, but he must. There is a feeling of knowing that you'll believe somehow that this message is from him. I'm hearing Dane, Dale, Lydia, Sarah, Freya, Judith. Grace, Julie, Maddie, and Tegan with that. Thank you very much. Right. 
So my grief point today is a short one. I'm not sure that I'm okay. Don't even think I'm fine. I'm empty on the inside, but not inside my mind. My mind can't stop thinking. What more I could have done? I really can't stop wondering where did everything go wrong? I'm not really here at all. Just the shell is left to see. I have become someone I never thought I'd be. A grieving mother. So whoever has lost a child, that will be for you or losing anybody, you know. Okay. So, hmm. So I have a gentleman coming in and he's telling me hmm, he liked to have the wind at his back but now wants to direct it towards you. He wants you to exceed at all your goals, although right now they may seem out of reach. I feel lots of encouragement heading towards you with this. Hmm. I like to think of this phase as having a gentle tailwind pushing you forward and he wants to make sure your journey's easier and more efficient so you can succeed. So watch for signs that appear randomly and thoughts which begin with the word you and that will be him. So there's a need to step back with one area I'm being told but once you see the idea from a different angle and it will be like a light bulb moment. I've got the number 13 with this, or the number 4. Mm. And June seems relevant. And I have Jessup as a last name, Max, Daniel, Sarge, Billy, John, and I'm hearing Ant. Alright. Okay. Alright, so our angel number today. Please don't worry about the big and sudden changes occurring in your life right now, as they were nudged along by the angels who are answering your prayers. The angels are supporting you as you change your life in blessed ways. Alright, go over into another message here. Shep wants to give a shout out to Chrissy and John. Oh, he wants you to know all is well. And I'm feeling at home and healed, so blessed. I want you to know, Maggie is also settled here on the other side, so need no need to waste valuable time worrying about us. We are fine and dandy, and busy as can be. Wouldn't have it any other way. All right, so I'm seeing a violin, violin, sorry. So I'm not sure if they played. Or you do, one of them played. Mm. And I'm also seeing an Italian greyhound with these people. Alright. All right, so just a few words here. Healing mementos. You may find comfort by holding a memento that reminds you of your loved one. Perhaps an item of clothing with the person's unique fragrance and energy. Or an object that you bought together. You may even sleep with these to feel closer to your loved one. While Memento will not bring back your beloved one mm. physically, it does help you connect with the eternal love and bond that you will always share with each other. Okay. I'm going to go into some cards, but again, you know me. If you watch my channel, I'm not very good with time. So we'll do what we can. So we have the Chakra Balance Angel. I'm just going to read this for you. Your Chakra Balance Angel wants you to reconnect and rebalance yourself today. When your chakras are out of alignment, you may feel ungrounded, scattered, tired, unmotivated or unnecessarily worried about your safety. When your chakra are fully functioning without any blockage, you feel connected to the earth, grounded, balanced, energetic, safe and settled. 
Your body has seven main chakra points that run from the base of your spine to the top of your head. Your root chakra, located at the base of your spine, resonates with the colour red. Your chakra, your sacral chakra, just below your navel, resonates with the colour orange. Your solar plexus chakra in your stomach resonates with the colour yellow. Your heart chakra in the heart Oh, sorry, as, uh, in your stomach area resonates with the colour yellow. Your heart chakra in your heart resonates with the colour green. Your throat chakra in the throat resonates with the colour blue. And your third eye because between your eyes resonates with the colour violet. Your crown chakra at the top of your head resonates with the colour indigo. So, 